up you guys? It's your girl Ken coming at you from Newark Airport. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is my spring break vlog. I know a lot of schools do not have a spring break this year due to the coronavirus, so I'm super thankful that I do have one. It was a journey to get plans together. People were flaky, things didn't work out. And I'm just at the point in my life where, you know, if I wanna do something, I'm gonna do it and no one's gonna stop me. Check-in was amazing. It is currently a little bit before 3.30 a.m. I left my apartment at 2.15. I am the only one in the airport. They actually told me that I was so early that they couldn't let me like in to come sit because they hadn't started their shift yet, I guess. I guess the big question is, where are you going, Kenna? I am technically flying home to Wilmington. And then I'm gonna go down to Charleston for a few days. I have never been, even though it's only a short drive away from where I grew up in the city definitely goes through a seasonal depression of where things are closed and it's cold and especially with covid there's even less that we can really do so i just needed a break life's been kicking my butt so thankful i get to do this excited to take you on the ride welcome to it happy tuesday sorry i did not pick up the camera much yesterday honestly it was such an eventful day it's about 10 15 and i'm gonna hang out with my dad this morning before leaving for charleston so up you guys i made it to charleston and i'm currently at my hotel it is actually 11 p.m this morning i woke up supposed to go golfing with my dad we kind of got rained out but we decided to go shooting instead and that was fun i did really well and then we walked around costco for a bit and went to his favorite pizza place for lunch and then i drove down to charleston here i drove around town a little bit then honestly just checked out king street and we went to this really really yummy place for dinner um it was called the ordinary Highly recommend. Um, I'll definitely be better about picking up the camera tomorrow. It's been nice just to be unplugged. We still have two wonderful days here in Charleston. Catch you on the flip. All right, we are out here at the battery. It is stunning. I feel like in New York, I don't get to be out in nature. If you've ever been to Wellington, it's like Fort Fisher with all the trees, but it's so pretty. Like it's so cute. And we're just gonna walk this for a little bit. And then if you look over, there's like a beautiful kind of waterway walk. I would love to live here one day. Like look, oh, you can see a little sailboat. Oh. Look, right there, high little sailboat. Now we're probably gonna walk along this for a little bit and go visit Rainbow Row. It's a famous like Charleston landmark and it's the greenhouse has a special place in my heart. If you know, you know. 95 East Bay Street, that's where we're headed to next, so let's get rolling. Alright guys, we are here. This green one right here is my house. Currently under renovation, but that's okay. I want it perfect by the time I move in, you know, one day manifesting. This is the dream, you guys. We are currently in a secret little alley. It's called Pennsylvania Alley here in Charleston. Um, I know the history dates back as it was involved in like the war and this was like a cut through for a lot of people, but it's just so pretty. It's the first place we've been that doesn't really have people on it. I just love how outdoor this city is.
hey, you know, I love biscuits. So we had to stop this cute little store inside and I got a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. Homemade, looks so yummy. Um, we went to Biddy and Bo's, you guys saw the little clip and we got leprechaun frappuccinos. It's got coffee and mint in it. So really, really yummy. Biddy and Bo's was actually started by people that we know in Wilmington and they have two children that have Down syndrome and their mission is just to provide jobs for people with disabilities, which I think is amazing. Part of product designing that I love is designing it for inclusivity and accessibility for everyone. So we love supporting them. just took a carriage tour and it was the cutest thing ever. I didn't get a whole lot of clips because I wanted to focus on information and all that stuff. I got peppermint and you guys know I love peppermint over mint so hopefully this is yummy. And we are out here at Foley Beach, off the main strip. We're on the hunt for a good place to eat. Welcome back to the vlog. I know I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. It's currently Friday. I am back in Wilmington. I drove back from Charleston this afternoon. Just to give you a little recap of what happened. Wednesday, we spent most of the day in Charleston. We kind of did all the quote unquote touristy things. I love all the history. I love all the bright pastel colors as well as everything is just lighter there in the city everything is very dark and maybe that's just a trend down here in the south but like it was just really hard to be in a bad mood when it was so pretty and so bright everywhere on thursday it was really really cloudy rainy and windy and it was a little stormy out so we decided to drive to foley beach which is south of charleston since it was still stormy and rainy we decided to drive to the other beach which is north of the city it's called sullivan's island and it actually has a lighthouse and i've never seen a lighthouse in person before but i honestly liked sullivan's island a little bit more than foley beach because it was a little nicer and i think the beaches are semi-private because it was so so bare and obviously because it was a little stormy it would be empty anyway but there wasn't like a lot of public parking and then spent the rest of the afternoon shopping and actually got this dress while I was down there. So this morning we got up and had breakfast and just spent our last little time in King Street. I am currently waiting on my parents to get their first round of the COVID vaccine so that's really exciting for them. Yeah that's kind of where we're at. I'm gonna see Han tonight and all and some of her friends from college. Catch you in a little bit. you guys it is a few days later and i am back in my apartment in new york i had such an amazing spring break thank you to everyone that took the time to see me i definitely even feel just coming back the stress of this environment as well as the life of a senior in college which i'm sure i'm not alone with but i wanted to just come on here and 
wrap up the vlog and show you the very few things I did get while I was out, kind of as a little Charleston haul. So the first thing I got was this ornament. I got it at the open air markets in Charleston. It basically has rainbow row and a pineapple. And I've kind of just decided that I want to get ornaments from places that I visit, but as someone who has practically no Christmas decorations, I thought it'd be cute to kind of grow a collection that way. I also got this little squishmallow thing. I have a little bulldog, but I got this from my brother. He did not get a spring break this year. I saw that and thought of him, so wanted to get it. I also got this simple thermal. I usually don't get bright colors, but I kind of like this light yellow. I actually got this at Costco. I also got the cutest little pink floral dress. I got it at TJ Maxx, but it was originally from Nordstrom but I took pictures in it. If you haven't, you should follow me on Instagram because I will probably be posting them soon. Another dress that I got, I love this. It's a little turtleneck. It was literally $8 from Target. And then the last thing I got was this liquid IV package also from Costco. I have been wanting to try these for a very long time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping to do more individual videos soon. Um, but comment down below if there's anything specifically you want to see and make sure to like and subscribe to see more. We have been posting a few bonus videos here and there on Thursdays, so stay on the lookout for those. But until next time, bye. Yeah.